What's up everybody? Wanted to show you how easy it is to get API 3's DAPI price feeds. It is only 17 lines of code. All we need is a global variable, a function to set our price feed, which is the proxy address, and a function to read the data. We're going to go ahead and deploy this to Gnosis Chain. My wallet's already connected, so we're going to go ahead and deploy. While we're waiting for this deployment, we're going to head over to market.api3.org. You'll see that you have different price feeds. We have equities and cryptocurrency. We're going to look for ETH, USD. You can see we are across 21 chains. We're going to click on Gnosis Chain. We have both Manage and Self-Funded options. Manage are for more detailed specific ones. You'll see that we have a 1% deviation with a 24-hour heartbeat. There'll also be more exact ones as well as 0.5% and 0.25. For now, we're going to use Self-Funded. This is a public good. And you're going to go ahead and grab that proxy contract address. So we're going to grab that right here. Do not get it confused with the data feed ID. Again, it's the proxy contract address. So we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to go ahead and look at our deployed contract. We're going to go scroll down and set our proxy address. We're setting our address to the ETHUSD. So we're going to go ahead and pay that transaction. And once that transaction goes through, we should get our price feed. And we're going to go ahead and read our data feed. And you'll see that we got $1,891.19 and a whole bunch of 999s and a block timestamp to let us know when the price feed came in. We're going to make sure that's not a stale price feed that's been overdue over time. And just to make sure that we have that, we have $1,891.19 with a bunch of 999s. Now you know how to do it. Go ahead and check out our docs and get to building.